Oh, hey. I want to talk about something that, well, I was just playing around with, you know, the um, anamorphic lens, and I was looking for a good program in order to use it. And all the good ones are terrible now. Greetings, Dave here, DCB Facts. Now, when I say terrible, they're not terrible. In fact, when you look at doing, you know, cinematography on the iPhone, there's one program that everyone talks about, Filmic Pro. It was a fantastic program, and it was very, very worth it. They got bought out. Now, it's a subscription model where you would pay $12 and own it. Now it's $50 a year. Now this is a slippery slope I see that a lot of the industry is going into Photoshop, Creative Cloud. If you want everything that you had when you bought it once for you know several hundred dollars, you're paying several hundred dollars a year to rent it. I think one of the plans, and I don't do it because I don't do it, but one of the plans I think is like $60 a month. Are you kidding me? When I went to my M1 Mac Mini. I've been a Photoshop guy forever. I've been using it since version 2.5. Like since the 90s. I've been using it. Like it only came out in the 90s. I've been using it for a long time. And when I got to my M1 Mac Mini, I couldn't do it any longer. My only option at that point was Creative Cloud. And I'm not renting software. And at the time, there were companies out there who said, we understand, we feel your pain. Affinity, oh, they're my new best, you know, all the openers I do here, well, not the openers, all of the title cards I do, everything I do for on YouTube, Affinity Photo. And I know I'm 10 months late, but I did say last year, I was thinking about writing a book on 3D printing, and I have Affinity Publisher to do that. I got them on sale. They were... $35 each, normally $65, $75, something like that. I got them and I use them all the time. Bye bye, Adobe. Bye bye. Um, renting software, like Office 365, same thing. I don't understand. Let's flee some, some more, get them some more, get them some more. You're renting software. Yeah, they roll out a little thing. And this makes me harken back to the old days of Mac OS X. Now, Big Mac guy, always have been. Oh yeah, Captain Jack, at your service. Big Mac guy, always have been. And the first couple times it came out, you know, it's this much, it's this much. But fun story, one thing is 10.4 came out. It was $35 Canadian. Real screw up on how they did it. I had to drive an hour and a half to go get it because they screwed up on the shipping. Yeah, it releases at six o'clock tonight. Called them at 10 o'clock in the morning. Where are my copies? Uh, the supplier just got them. You can have them on Monday. Not happening. Can I come get them? Yes. Drove to my old stomping grounds, picked them up, brought them home, had thing. Anyway, told you that to tell you this. $35 plus tax, $39.55. $39.55. So I did that like 60 times that night. I was open late on my store and I said, hey, six o'clock, you can buy it. It's $5.59. It's not six o'clock. Six o'clock, now you can buy it. And go, 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 go. Later that weekend, I was out buying something. I was buying a watch drop. I had an old uh, fossil watch strap, $35. And the girl said, that'll be enough, $39.55. And she looked at me like, no, 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 I'm not Rain Man. I just sold 60 copies of something at $35 plus tax. I know it's $39.55. Anyway, again, I'm really telling stories to tell other stories. If you have a second and you're new here, if you could do me a great favor, if you like what you're seeing, and I'm trying to do, well, I'm not even trying, I'm doing three videos a week, sometimes four, sometimes five, when I'm adding shorts. If you could give me a subscribe and a like, I'd really appreciate it. The whole goal here is to grow people's uh, engagement and, and, and interaction here. So the more people are subscribed, the more people are gonna see, the more people are then gonna send it out to the, the world. So if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. Your stories. Apple for years was like, it's $35, but then, Around the time, I guess it was Windows 7, Steve Jobs was talking about, because Windows 7 had, you had the Home Edition, you had the Pro Edition, you had the Ninja Edition, the Ultimate Firebird Edition, you had all these different Mega Dragon Editions. And Steve Jobs went up on stage and said, back OS 10.5, Panther, or whatever it was, free. 
the Ultra Omega Ninja Dragon Edition is also free. They just took all the wind out of the sails. It just was so funny. Like, I know you still have to buy Windows, uh, I guess. But, you know, uh, Mac OS 10 comes out. Mac OS 12, or is it 13 now? I don't know what. Ventura is due out soon, and we'll have that. And guess how much it is? Free. Because the whole goal of the, from Apple now is they make their software to push out their hardware. You know, now that I'm finally current with my M1 Mac Mini, I can do current stuff all the time, and it's kind of nice to do that. But, yeah. You know, it's it's hard to stay up on these things. And, you know, I, if you saw before I did a, a print for continuity camera, we'll see how that works. But anyway, so the main thrust of this video uh, for what I'm trying to say is renting software is dumb. And where they had a great phone program called Filmic Pro, I ain't paying 50 bucks. Sorry, mom, the English teacher, I said ain't. I'm not going to pay that. I found a great one, a company that makes lenses called Moment. Uh, they make fantastic lenses, a little out of my price range, not doing that. And I have a Ulanzi case with a 17 millimeter thread, so I'm going to do Ulanzi lenses and threaded lenses like the Apexels. Their program is $9, $10 once. And also the one called Beast Cam, which was $3 once. So I have a couple of cameras I can, uh, camera apps I can work with. I am not renting software especially on my phone not happening i will be interested to see how long this lasts when they say okay yes we have people we, we have a huge install base and now we've got some of them signed on to the rental and some of them have signed off the rental and no and no and no and no filmic pro filmic pro so there you go. That's just my rant for today. I just, I don't like that. I'm trying to get into something new and I have no problem paying for a piece of software. I'm not a pirate. Yar. But I'm not going to rent a piece of software. Not happening. So anyway, that's my video for today. Everyone have a great day. We'll talk to you all.